And the U.S. Supreme Court justices agreed to hear former President Donald Trump's sweeping claim of presidential immunity, what it means for the election interference case against him. And I was on the phone with an ex-girlfriend who was suicidal, so I couldn't exactly hang up to say, I want to go to a salad bar. Plus, remembering stand-up comedian, actor, and writer Richard Lewis, who has died after a series of health issues. Then a terrifying armed robbery at a West Hollywood gym caught by surveillance cameras. The victim speaking out after the brutal attack, now on the News at 10. Micah and I'm Cher Calvin. A bombshell announcement from the U.S. Supreme Court. The justices have agreed to hear arguments in former President Trump's claim of absolute immunity. Those arguments are scheduled for April 22nd, seven weeks from now, further delaying the former president's federal election subversion trial. That delay pushes the trial closer to the November election and raises questions about whether it will go forward at all. Jonathan Odeo is live in the KTLA News Center with more on the Supreme Court's decision and its implications. John? Well, sure, Micah, this is a temporary but notable victory for former President Trump. The question before the Supreme Court, are presidents above the law? Mr. Trump insists he should be granted immunity from prosecution over his role on January 6th and his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election.